what's up guys i hope you're having a beautiful day um like i am today uh today we're at francis walter dam um it's a little before the dam it's where the creek runs in down from uh what is it bear creek and goes into i think it's the lehigh valley gorge and meets into a dam um i'm gonna be fishing before the dam and I'm here right now on the side of the road, literally on the side of the road, and I don't know if my Honda is going to make it out here. Look at this guy. I'm like literally on a hill. I don't know. I don't know if I'll make it. That's close. But I'm going to see if I can catch some fish right now. So let's go. So we made it out to the spot. Don't know if my Honda's gonna make it back or not, but uh, all I'm worried about right now is fishing. We got this nice, beautiful little little pool here. See, there's a little bit of fish busting. Um, I'm gonna try down over there. It looks like a bluff with uh, some standing timber by it. That's definitely a great spot for them. But uh, I don't know, this spot called out my name and I'm gonna see what we could do I know the skies are really clear and uh, the Sun the Sun's starting to set but I'm gonna use this 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 I just got this at Cabela's um, I don't know it really stood out it's a little nice little walking bait kind of looks like a uh, it's kind of like a cross between a bluegill with the blue side orange belly and a bass i guess on the top but really from underneath it looks like a bluegill um i don't know if i'm gonna get any bites on this but i'm gonna try to cast it out as far as i can well not as far as i can but pretty far let's see if we can get bites on this Like I said, the skies are really clear, so I don't think top water bait's the way to go. Um, I just really like, I really like this bait, and just watching it walk is uh, pretty neat in itself. So I think that's why I was using it, and I'm I'm pretty confident in this bait for some reason. Like I said, uh, I saw it on the shelf, and I I just had to have it. Now I'll send a link in the description um, of what it is. So I know I shop a lot of uh, lures at Tackle Warehouse. So I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they might have it. So I'll put a link in the description of what this is. And then you can go to your local store or whatever, and maybe they'll have it. But it has a nice rattle to it when you walk it and it also has a almost like a a popping noise kind of like a whopper plopper and uh i don't know i just really like the action of this they obviously aren't interested in this i have the power baits 10 inch worm in a uh, purple and black or blue flake uh, blue flake a blue f what the hell happened there um blue flake 
and I got one. Let's go, buddy. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but that works too. This is a really good size fish. Big head on this guy. Wow. That's a... Uh, that's a decent bass right there. I did not mean to do that. I literally, there must have been a tangle or something in my, uh, in my line. Let's weigh this guy real quick. That's gotta be at least two pounds. A two pound mother effer. Okay, so 1.96, almost two pounds. But uh, they're in here and they're pretty big. That's a decent sized fish. Big head, wow. All right, guy, I'm gonna send you on your way, all right? There he goes. Get bigger. As soon as I picked up that slack, what am I doing? As soon as I picked up that slack, I felt that fish right on it. He liked that 10 inch worm. And messed my worm up. That's alright. Let's, uh, let's see if we can catch his mommy. It's a little messed up worm, whatever. Maybe they might like it. Let's go catch your mommy, huh? Let's go back over here. I'm gonna try fishing over here. Let's see if we can catch a bigger one. This line is totally screwed up. Trying to balance on a rock here. It's very rocky over here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a, uh, a nice crankbait. The way things were done in the good old day. Good old day. A return to the way things were done in the good old day. Good old day. Smaller. But there are fish in here. It's probably a pound. Two fish in a half hour. That was nice. He had a little head shake there. He didn't know, sorry, I, I mean, I kind of just put him right in the water, but he uh, was a little confused. So we're back. I'm on a rock. Uh, see if we could catch something. Um, very rocky here, though. What I'm trying to aim for is these little standing timbers here. Usually they'll be uh, right there. Um, 
but what this is this is nice because pretty much that's a bluff and then past that there's a couple standing timbers so I like it a lot the only thing is now I have a farther walk oh well let's get it this is a definitely a definitely neat little spot uh, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have to come back here to to fish it you know hashtag definitely 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 You know, first cast, got a nice, almost two pounder. I'm gonna call it a two pounder because that's what it looked like. You got a nice bulky head to it. I'm actually starting to get hungry. I didn't eat at all. So I'm gonna go pick up food along the way home and then just crash. I'm tired. Tomorrow is Friday. Hopefully we can get some more fishing done tomorrow. Get more videos out for you guys. But uh, that's it for me. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please comment, like, subscribe. And if you haven't, if you are a subscriber, please, there's a notification, a little bell on the bottom right of the video. Uh, if you hit that, you will get notifications every time I upload a new video. So thank you very much. I will see you next time. Peace.